Hello friends and fans of Tanana Chiefs Conference. My name is Marna Sanford here with your weekly advocacy update. What's going on in Juneau? Well, 120 days is what the voters have decided is plenty of time for the state legislature to come up with an operating budget. And this last week marks the end of that 120 days. So technically, the House and Senate had to adjourn by law. They had to be done. So what happens then if they're not done with their business? Well, in this case, the governor has set a special session agenda where he gets to decide what they will hear for the next weeks, up to a month of their time. And since there's still quite a lot left for them to finish, it's going to be a fairly busy agenda, namely the operating budget, the capital budget, his constitutional budgets regarding the permanent fund dividend, and the crime bills which he proposed during his first few weeks in office. We're still all waiting to hear what's going to happen with the permanent fund dividend. Essentially, as I told you last week, the conference committee of both the House and the Senate came together and pretty much nailed down everything they needed to within the actual operating budget. The big question remains, how much will the permanent fund dividend be? And that has not been decided yet. So there's no new news on that front, folks, and I'm sorry about that. We're all waiting on pins and needles to know how much that check will be and how much will be going to fund state services. What's going on in DC? Well, this was actually a pretty exciting week for Tanana Chiefs. Uh, our own energy expert, Dave PM, has been working on a bill for diesel generators that has passed its final hurdle in the Senate. The bill would essentially allow our communities to upgrade their diesel generators without subjecting them to EPA fines on particulate matter. I know that sounds boring, but it was a really big lift and we're super proud of Dave for all the work he did on this effort. There was also a bill that passed the House that's called a Cartieri Fix. For those of you who've been involved in several different listening sessions and consultations on land into trust, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, the House passed its first ever Cartieri Fix, a clean Cartieri Fix, that tells the U.S. government, you will take land into trust for tribes, including Alaska tribes. It's, not, it's no longer discretionary in this bill, and if this bill passes through the Senate, this will be a landmark piece of legislation for our communities. Don't forget to catch this update on TananaChiefs.org on the advocacy website.